Hello everyone. Welcome back to Visartist. Today we will learn class 7 geography chapter number 3 our changing earth wherein we will understand about the various changes that happen in our dynamic planet earth and in this video we will learn about endogenic changes particularly our earth is a dynamic planet which means it keeps on changing beneath the earth's surface there is a lot of magma in the layer of mantle to know more about the layer of mantle you can check out the video in the description below on this molten magma there are slab like structures known as the tectonic or lithospheric plates these move on this magma just like something floats on water these move very slowly and like what is shown here just a few millimeters per year which means they'll hardly move one kilometer in millions of years this situation can be compared to a bathtub wherein the bathtub is an earth the water is the molten magma and a rubber ducky with which you play can be seen as lithospheric plates which move because of the flow of water. This movement of lithospheric plates cause various changes called as endogenic changes. The changes that origin inside the earth and cause changes outside are endogenic changes. For example, volcanic eruption and earthquakes. From the word endogenic itself, we understand that the changes that origin endo, which means inside, and genic means origin, are called as the endogenic changes. The two main types of endogenic changes are volcanic eruption and earthquakes. Now let's understand these two in detail. Volcanic eruption. A volcano is a vent or opening in the earth's crust through which molten material erupts suddenly so simply a volcano is a vent which means an opening on the earth's crust earth's crust means the earth's surface and through this opening molten material like molten magma and gases erupt let's understand this with the help of a diagram this is a volcano. If you see at the bottom, you can see the magma chamber. Magma chamber is the part of the volcano which connects the vents and the mantle together. The magma chamber is the place where the magma which will be erupted as lava is stored. We can also say that magma is the molten material inside the earth and lava is the molten material which erupts out. Then there is the main vent through which the molten magma comes out to erupt. There are a few secondary vents which are like holes in the volcano through which molten material also erupt but not with as great force as compared to main vent. Then at the top of the volcano there is a crater which is the opening through which the, the molten magma coming through the main vent will erupt. The erupted lava and these are the gases which come along with the erupted lava. Now let's understand about earthquake. The vibrations caused by colliding or sudden movement of the lithospheric plates is called an earthquake. It can be extremely dangerous if the vibrations are more intense, while some mild earthquakes cause no damage at all. Simply we can say that earthquake are vibrations. These vibrations are caused when two lithospheric plates collide with each other or they move all of a sudden in a harsh way. Some vibrations are very intense and they can cause a lot of damage, while others are very mild and are not felt at all. Let's understand this in a pictorial way. When two 
lithospheric plates collide with each other, they create a vibration. Now, if this vibration is more intense, it is felt in a more harsh way and all of the things on the earth's surface start to move. Sometimes it is very intense and can cause a lot of damage including life loss. Sometimes it is very mild that it is not felt at all. To label an earthquake, we can see that the place of origin means where the two lithospheric plates have collided, that particular place is known as the focus. And the area on the surface of the earth just above the focus is known as an epicenter. Now let's see how you can measure earthquakes. There are two measuring of earthquakes. The first is the measure of magnitude and the second is the measure of intensity. The magnitude is the size of the earthquake and intensity is how intense the earthquake was. To measure the magnitude of earthquake, we use a measuring term called as the Richter scale. While to measure the intensity of an earthquake, we use a seismograph, which is a device which records the intensity of an earthquake. Now let's see a case study wherein the earthquake hits Bhuj. Bhuj is a town in Gujarat and it was the epicenter of a massive earthquake. It had the measure of 6.9 on the Richter scale, which means it was very, very strong and caused a lot of damage. The day when it started was 26th of January 2001. Let's see a few of the damages which this earthquake caused. The first one is the school damage, wherein a school building had collapsed because of the vibration. 971 students and 31 teachers had lost their lives. There was destruction of phone lines, water pipelines and power stations as well because of this earthquake. Also, there was a fire in the city because the charcoal cookers had overturned. Now let's see how the government tried to help. The government tried to help by declaring the state of emergency and also the Gujarat CM asked for financial help to help the people. But in the negative side, even after three days of the earthquake, the supplies which the government was giving was not reaching to everyone. So this, so this was it for endogenic changes. There is another type of changes that occur on earth called as the exogenic changes which we will be learning in the next video. Hope this video helped to you. If it did, don't forget to give thumbs up, share it with your friends and click on the red subscribe button. If you have any doubt at all, you can ask in the comment section below. The link for the next video will be soon posted in the description. So be sure to check it there as well. Thank you everyone. Bye.